Hey guys, it's Adrian over BHA here bringing you a new tutorial on how you can control your Apple TVs in Home Assistant. So I just got a new Apple TV uh, 4K and I'm still playing around with it and looking at all the features that it has and everything, but I thought it'd be really cool to get it added into Home Assistant. Then I can view it as a media player and uh, be able to control it and use automations with it and everything. So. Uh, I wanted to be able to see what all I could do with it. So this video is going to show you how you can uh, get your Apple TV set up and be able to use it in Home Assistant. So let's do a quick run through of what we're going to cover in this video. I'm going to start by making sure my system is up to date. Once that is done, uh, we're going to go ahead and install some prerequisites that we need for all this to work properly. Once the prerequisites are installed, we need to make sure that home sharing is turned on on our Apple TV. Another part of the setup process will be to make sure that you have Discovery turned on in Home Assistant. If you already have it turned on, you can skip past that step. Next, we will scan for the Apple TV and get the login ID that we'll need for Home Assistant. Then we need to set up device authentication between Home Assistant and our Apple TV. Once all that is done, we're going to add the Apple TV component into Home Assistant. And of course, lastly, I'll show you what that looks like in action. So let's get started. So as always, I like to make sure my system is up to date. So I'm going to do a sudo apt-get update and a sudo apt-get upgrade. And I'll fast forward through all that so we're not waiting around for it to finish. Now we need to install some prerequisites uh, that are needed in order for this Apple TV to communicate properly with Home Assistant. Alright, so we're going to do a sudo apt-get install build-essential libssl-dev libffi-dev and python-dev. And I'll put all that in the description so you can just copy and paste it. As you can see, I've already got them installed, so the uh, install went pretty quick. All right, so we need to make sure home sharing is turned on on our Apple TV. So we do that by going into settings and then to accounts, which is that second line from the top. And then you're gonna scroll down and there should be an option for home sharing. And of course, I already have mine turned on, but if you didn't, you could click on it and turn on home sharing. Now let's go ahead and make sure Discovery is enabled in Home Assistant. Now we do this by editing our configuration.yaml file. And of course, I have mine commented out, so I'm going to uncomment it. And we'll just go ahead and save that and we'll restart Home Assistant for those changes to take effect. Give that a second to come back up. Once we know that Discovery is enabled, we should be able to now scan for our Apple TV. We're going to hit the services link down on the left. And the service we want to run is Apple TV Scan. We'll call that service. I think it takes like three seconds. Uh, you should then, uh, once you hit it, you should be able to go back to overview. And there it is, it popped up. It found my Apple TV. And we want to save that login ID. Either copy and paste it or write it down somewhere just so you have it because you're going to need it for your configuration. All right, so we also want to set up device authentication. Now we do this kind of the same way as we did the Apple TV scan. We're going to go back to the services link. 
we're going to do a Apple TV Authenticate. And in the entity line, we want to put in the entity of our Apple TV. So mine is called media underscore player dot living room two. Not sure where it came up with that name, but that's what it gave it. I'm going to go ahead and hit call service. And so now there should be a code that will pop up on the Apple TV. You can see it down there in the corner. There's the code, so I'm going to type that in the pin code here and hit confirm. All right, we should be authenticated. Now you can go back to the overview at the top. And authentication succeeded. And now it gave us another ID that we need to keep track of. This is for the credentials. So go ahead and kind of copy and paste that, save that somewhere as well. All right, so let's go ahead and add our Apple TV component into Home Assistant. So we do this by editing our configuration.yaml file again. Uh, the component name is apple underscore TV. The host will be the IP address of your Apple TV. The login ID is what we got earlier whenever we did the Apple TV scan. And of course I have everything stored in my secrets.yaml file here, so mine uh, is not going to show of course. Same thing for the uh, device authentication. We have credentials. Um, that is the uh, second ID that we copied. So we're going to do that uh, as well here. <coughs> so as I also have that stored in the secrets.yaml file. Start underscore off. Now this one is a little tricky. I'm setting it to true. Basically what that means is if I restart Home Assistant, by default it's going to consider my Apple TV to be turned off. There have been some known issues with Apple TV as far as automatically turning the TV on uh, using HDMI CEC whenever you reboot Home Assistant. And since I'm not at home and sometimes I even reboot Home Assistant, I don't want my Apple TV turning the TV on in the house. I can still use automations and everything else to be able to turn the Apple TV on and off in Home Assistant. Let's go ahead and save that. And of course we're going to restart Home Assistant for the new changes to take effect. Give that a second to come back up. All right, so let's take a look at that. All right, so here we are in the web front end, and as you can see, we have a new media player. It is uh, labeled Apple TV. Of course, like I said, it currently shows off because we just rebooted Home Assistant. It works pretty much just like any other media player in Home Assistant. So just another way that we can control things for Home Assistant and be able to uh, send commands to our Apple TV. That is the end of this video, guys. Let's go ahead and do a quick run through of everything we covered in this video. So again, uh, we started off by making sure our system was up to date. Um, once that was done, we installed some prerequisites that were needed for all this to work properly. Uh, then I showed you how to turn on home sharing on your Apple TV. Once that was done, we needed to make sure that Discovery was enabled in Home Assistant. Then we scanned for our Apple TV and got that login ID. Once that was done, we set up device authentication and got the credentials ID that we needed for Home Assistant. Once all that setup was finished, we were able to add the Apple TV component into Home Assistant. And of course, lastly, I just kind of showed you what that looked like in action. All right, guys, like I said, that was the end of the video. If you liked the video, please subscribe to my channel. Uh, if you have any questions or comments, hit me up in the comments below. 
And as always, if there are any videos out there that you'd like to see that I don't already have out there, let me know in the comments as well, and I'll see if I can't get something put together for you guys. Otherwise, see you guys around.